Hey guys, today I have a short video showing off the Vaxxis Atom 500. The Atom 500 is a newer wireless video system from Vaxxis at a super affordable price point. The Vaxxis is meant more for smaller DSLR and mirrorless cameras. It has the ability to send your video feed to a director's monitor and it can send the feed to an iOS app up to three devices. Now both units can be powered through a Sony NPF battery or they can be powered by a USB-C cable from either a battery bank, a wall outlet, or even if your camera, if it has USB power out. Picking up the units, you'll notice right away how small and light they are. On the back is the Sony MPF battery plate, quarter 20 threads for mounting on the bottom, your inputs and outputs on the side, and the power switch on the other side. Unboxing the Atom, you'll get the transmitter and receiver units, you get a swivel hot shoe to quarter 20 mount, a USB-C type A to USB-C cable, two screws with an Allen key, and an attachment to screw onto one of the units for an additional quarter 20 mounting point. On the transmitter unit, it has USB-C power in, HDMI in and out, and the receiver has two HDMI outs, so you can output to two different monitors if you need to, and it has USB-C power in. You can also output to the iPhone app, but unfortunately I don't have an iPhone, so we weren't able to test the app out. I messaged Vaxxis and it sounds like an Android app is in the works. Hopefully it will be out sooner than later. Powering up the units here with a power bank with two USB-C cables, you can cycle through the menu by long holding the middle button and using the left and right buttons to cycle through the menu and you can click the middle button to select your setting. I updated my units to the newest firmware, 2.0.3, which came out just before we filmed this video. So while my friend and I build the camera and my focus tree, I'll give you a little bit of a backstory about this Atom. I was fortunate enough to actually win this Atom 500 in a Vaxxas giveaway through Instagram. So for me, this Atom will mainly be used for pulling focus on smaller jobs with a smaller crew where it's usually the DP and me where I'm running around pulling off my focus tree. Now, Vaxxas doesn't actually recommend using this unit for pulling focus off of, but the unit was free for me and I think it'll be just good enough for those smaller jobs with a smaller budget. For me, I mostly wanted to test how the Atom will feel when I'm pulling focus as I'm very used to using Teradek bolts with virtually no latency. So this is what me and my friend put to the test. The testing we're going to do is more practical and less scientific and it's more just to see how the units are going to perform in real world scenarios. My friend and I set up just a quick test to check the latency on these units. And as you can see, we have just three frames of latency, which really is not bad for this price point. Next, we wanted to test out the range. Now, Vaxxas says the Atom 500 should be able to transmit 500 feet line of sight. We set up in an alleyway. I have my focus tree set up here at one end and my friend went for a walk with the camera. Down the alleyway is around 400 feet and I experienced basically no tearing or image breakup at all. As you can see, as soon as my friend gets around the corner, the image almost instantly cuts out. Gone now. When he comes back around the corner, the connection reconnects pretty quickly. We wanted to test if we could reach the 500 feet and see how much further it could actually go, so we went out to the streets. My friend rolled all the way down the street. It's a little hard to see on my monitor, but at 700 feet, the image started to cut out pretty bad. So it's good to know that it can go a little beyond 500 feet line of sight. The last test was to see how the item transmit through walls. I was sitting on the main floor at the west side of my house. My friend goes up through the entire second floor and through the whole attic to the opposite east side of the house. I didn't have a single transmission issue, image tear or anything, even being at the farthest two points in the house. Here he frames up on this keyboard and mouse and I was easily able to pull focus on the shot. 
Overall, I'm super happy with the performance of this tiny little affordable unit. It's super small, easy to power, and very minimal lag. My friend and I actually brought the Atom 500 on a job the day after filming this video. We used the Atom all day long in the house and even outside for some car shots and it never lost signal once and never gave me any issues whatsoever. I will definitely be bringing the Atom 500 on many of my small jobs in the future. If you have any questions about the Atom 500, leave your questions down in the comments below. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.